All right, as we wrap up the first quarter of 2017, we are checking in with the Greater Tampa Chamber of Commerce. Chair with the Chamber, Mike Griffin, joins us now with the update. The Tampa Chamber is always doing so many exciting and wonderful things for the business community. Let's first get a, a quick recap on what's been happening in the first quarter. Sure. Well, Jerry, thanks for having us. Really appreciate the partnership we have with you. Uh, we've been very busy. Uh, in December at the annual meeting, we launched our 10-year vision plan that's really built on three strategic pillars, being a catalyst for business, the hub for business, and a more uh, focus on diversity and inclusiveness. And we've made a lot of strides already in the first quarter uh, to build upon that. Uh, we, we made a strategic hire, a uh, new position that oversees our diversity initiatives uh, because it's very, very important, not th just that our leadership is is reflective of our entire community and business community but that we're engaging different types of businesses uh, we have over 1200 members of the chamber uh, we're very healthy financially um, but in order for us to be a catalyst on important issues uh, in our community we need more people at the table and yeah. so we've, we've made a lot of great strides in that already and uh, very proud about where we're going to be later this year you're putting the spotlight on diversity why is that such an important priority for you well it's important that we have one tampa and one Tampa Bay and in order for you to do that you need folks around the table that may not look like you may not act like you or, or may not come from the same industry as you um, you know certainly our, as an organization that's been around for 130 years we've um, seen a lot and been through a lot um, but part of our commitment and my commitment personally is that uh, we have more people at the table that may not think the way that some of us do because mm -hmm. that's when you get the best ideas and more importantly that's how you get things done is when you have more people at the table um, that may not have been at the table previously and 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 we're hungry to get things done and that's sure. how you get things done all right the state legislative session began last week mm -hmm. what are the tampa chamber priorities at this point well it's an ex interesting time in tallahassee right now mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned the legislative session just started and they meet for 60 days uh, maybe a little more this year um, and we have several priorities but our three top priorities are very important to not just the chamber but the entire community uh, one is around the completion of the funding for the downtown medical school for the university of south florida mm -hmm. um, some funding's already been put in place but we want to see that completed uh, which will really, really serve as a catalyst for downtown Tampa and the entire community. Uh, another issue that's important to us is uh, there's a cigarette tax um, that, that's in place, um, and we're not advocating for increasing that tax, but what we are advocating for is that uh, Moffitt Cancer Center gets more of, a, you know, more of a share of that existing tax so that they can further modernize their, their facilities um, and, and, and research and really help them grow They've done a lot of that lately, but uh, the, you know, the, the main hospital is very old mm. um, and it's not modern. And so a lot of those funds would allow them to bond uh, th those taxes to be able to make those improvements. And then finally, um, having a statewide <clears throat> framework on transportation network companies or Uber and Lyft. You know, the PTC, we're advocating ab abolishing the PTC as a chamber, but we need a uniform framework. So when you ride in an Uber or a Lyft or another similar vehicle between Pinellas and Hillsboro, that it's under one consistent framework. And we're happy to see that there's already some momentum around that happening. Because not just it's not just a transportation sh solution, um, but it sends the message to the world that Florida is an, wants to be an innovative economy, and Tampa Bay wants that as well. So are you proponents of these alternate forms of transportation, Uber and Lyft? Absolutely, 100%. Um, you know, we need more private investment with transportation solutions. Now, certainly, uh, you know, Uber and Lyft is not a panacea for all our transportation right. challenges, but it's certainly a part of it. Um, and we're very, very happy that, that, that the legislature has made this a priority this year. Okay, Mike Griffin. Great stuff. Thanks, Thanks very Jerry. much. Appreciate it. And you can head to tam tampachamber.com for more information. And we'll be right back with more daytime right after this. Thanks, Mike.